Push me over the edges Push me over the edges The other buff don't even know we're here. There's one still feeding around here. Could get interesting very soon. Looks like he's down. I'm about to scare these other buff off. Alrighty, all right, we've been, we've been um, camped our grasshopper for two days. We had a bit of fun, got some pigs, um, got in on some pigs and got in some close encounters with some buff, but haven't been able to get a shot away. Um, as we're coming out on the way back, we spotted these buff up in this timber country, this burnout country. There's a few of them feeding. They were way off the road and didn't actually notice the car. So we, um, they were still feeding, so we stalked right in. It was quite a, quite a long way in, in open country. 
couple of the buffalo were semi onto us and um, kept watching us. I was following two buff, trying to get in on them. They actually moved off too quick for me as I couldn't move because the other buff had their eye on me. This fella coming close to me. And so I changed my plan and started heading for him. Um, by the time he sort of went broadside about 30 metres and uh, I took a shot and went straight over his back and as the dust splattered, he turned to see what, had ha what happened on the other side of him. I knocked another arrow and then put it where I was meant to. It has actually come a little to the... Um, to the right of what I was hoping for, but um, where I did hit him, it put him down real quick. So I'm happy with the way it went. Um, yeah, but he's a he's a real good animal, and um, I'm I'm really happy to get him on the ground. But we better hurry up and um, sort of clean him up and and, and do the business, is because we've got a, quite a way to drive back to camp yet. And we don't really want to be doing it in the dark, as you can see from the shadows. It's late afternoon, but yeah, I'm hunting here with Steve Steve Kid, and I'm. I'm happy for him to be here and, and happy to have his assistance. It's been a real good hunt.